This video presents one of the two Portuguese ESCMID collaborative centers, Hospital Beatriz Angelo. We're a collaborative center in infection prevention and control and we're located in Lisbon, but our beautiful city is just the first reason why you should visit it. Our hospital is a Joint Commission International Accredited Paper-Free General Teaching Public Hospital with more than 400 beds and assisting a population of 278,000 inhabitants. Since we opened in 2012, we include a state-of-the-art facility with modern operating and procedure rooms, medical and surgical wards consisting only uh, of individual and two bedrooms, uh, pediatric and maternity wards, and a 22-bed ICU. Our team is multidisciplinary and it includes not only two infectious diseases specialists, but also a pharmacist and three infection prevention and control nurses. Our mission is, uh, besides the risk assessment and implementation of every uh, infection, preve infection prevention and control measure, um, also epidemiological surveillance of bloodstream infections, other uh, specific site infections, and infections due to epidemiologically significant organisms. We also have an antimicrobial stewardship program, and we review every antimicrobial from the, from the watch and reserve groups of WHO, and we also provide um, support in dosage, duration, and route of administration um, assessment. Since we're a paper-free hospital, we developed a lot of e-health tools to help us provide the best care. Uh, upon admission, every patient has an ep electronic admission epidemiological survey um, that is done on, upon admission to assess uh, all the needs in terms of um, screening and isolation procedures. Uh, during inpatient stay, we have a lot of uh, alerts set up for uh, epidemiological surveillance, diagnosis, diagnostic workflows, um, uh, uh, all the updates in isolation procedures, and antimicrobial stewardship conditioning and stewardship through a lot of uh, e-health uh, solutions. Upon discharge, we have a specific site for uh, IPC discharge notes, and we do follow-up, especially on surgical patients for surgical site. Um, this is um, the view of our electronic admission epidemiological survey and uh, the responses that our colleagues provide uh, will automatically generate uh, biohazard alerts for us and an automatic prescription of colonization studies that are necessary uh, considering uh, the information. Uh, here you have, it, you have examples of our alerts for isolation procedures and review of these isola isolation procedures for epidemiological surveillance, especially for um, epidemiological, uh, epidemiologically uh, significant organisms, and an example of our discharge notes. Regarding antimicrobial stewardship, um, these tools allow us to assess um, the combination of the cl clinical syndrome with the um, antibiotic that is prescribed and assess also assess compliance with our uh, therapeutic protocols and with this um, assess if the therapy is correct and also assess dosage, duration and uh, route of administration. Uh, we also provide um, a lot of support for our colleagues in uh, more complex infections and we usually uh, do a team, um, team approach with a team decision uh, from our doctors and uh, pharmacists uh, in terms of um, these um, consults that we do for the different we also do a lot of uh, education, educational activities and uh, training um, activity, activities with the different departments, uh, not only in uh, hand hygiene, but also uh, uh, training in terms of other infection prevention and control strategies and uh, educational activities for um, antibiotic therapy and other um, stewardship inter interventions. We have collaborations with every uh, local authority in terms of primary health care and public health institutions, along with our peers uh, in other hospitals and our IPC and AMS national teams, um, and obviously uh, this collaboration with ESCME. We have many uh, presentations and publications 
things in national and international um, congresses and we also try to uh, give this uh, educational approach to everyone that comes uh, stay with us. Um, we're responsible for every precaution needed uh, for response to outbreaks, epidemics and particularly pandemics like the current COVID-19. Uh, I'll leave, leave you with data from all the admissions um, uh, due to SARS-CoV-2 uh, infection in our hospital and the challenges we, we faced not only uh, in regarding COVID but also uh, in maintaining all of our ac other activities during this uh, challenging period. Uh, and with this, I will thank you for your attention and um, hope you decide to come uh, and get to know our centre. Thank you.